Hi guys, I'm Scoutmaster Bozanik, and today we are going to go kayaking. We have a really cool lake to go kayaking in today called Lake Pacifica, which was named after Pacifica District. Any of you ever heard of that before? And we're going to have a great time. So the first thing we need to do is put the kayak in the water. So let's get started. This is the kayak, it's the blue thing. And we're going to shove it in. And then we're going to get in. Ah, wait! No, oh, shoot! Oh. Um, Dad, I think you dropped something. Oh. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, what was I supposed to do? You know the rope at the um, stern called the painter? You're supposed oh, to hold on to that. I was supposed to hold that, wasn't I? Yeah. yeah. Ah, all right, we're going to try this again. Smart but first, I need to get the dog to bring me back the boat. Well, that only took 15 minutes, but we got the kayak back. This time, I'm going to remember to hold on to the painter when I put it in. And when I put the kayak in, I'm going to put it in slowly this time. There. See? And I got it. And we're going to tie this off so it can't go anyplace without me. And to do that, I'm going to use a bowline because I'm tying it around this nice tree here, this aluminum tree. Okay, so the next thing we're about to do is get ready to go kayaking. So I have my oar right here that I'm gonna go kayaking um, with. Dad, I don't, I don't think that's the right thing. What do you mean it's not the right thing? That's... It has a blade, see? The blade pushes the water. Yeah, but um, I think that's generally used for paddle boats. Oh, this is for a rowboat. Mm -hmm. How do you know this is for a rowboat? Because you see the metal ring thing? This metal ring thing right here? Yeah. That's yeah, what's it? That's called an oar lock. An oar lock? And what does it do? It locks and it keeps the oar from moving. Oh, I'm supposed to have something on this kayak that this goes into, don't I? Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Where's my pocket knife? Can I have my pocket knife? We'll make a hole. Um, you know, let's save that for our next kayak. Okay. Well, but it's got two handles on it, so I can use it like a paddle, right? Nope, that middle one is actually the leather. This thing? Yeah. What's it for? It's for the oar lock. But it doesn't do anything. It's to keep it from rubbing against the shaft. Oh, the shaft. What part is the shaft? It's the metal part. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, then what's this red thing for? Are you going to tell me that's not a handle? No, that's your handle. Okay, but I can't use this one-handed. Well, that's because you generally have two of them. Oh, but then how does it get stuck in the water? You row? <laughs> oh, that's right. This is supposed to go in the boat, huh? <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm going to have to use something else. Good All right, idea. Let me go looking for something else then. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, that seems better. Cool. Look what I have now. This is a paddle. And is this the right paddle? Yes, it is. How do you know? Because there's two blades on it. Two blades. One on this side and one on this side. Cool. And what's this rope for? The string. This must be to tie the dog up so the dog doesn't get lost off the kayak, right? I don't think the dog's Come going here, anywhere. Up. Save him. Let's tie you up. So you can keep the paddle if I lose it. I don't think the dog's going anywhere. Oh. Well, then what's the string for? To tie it to the kayak to keep it from getting away from the kayak. Oh, gosh. That makes perfect sense. All right, so let me start by tying this to the kayak. Okay, so let me tie Bolin right here. Excellent. And now if the paddle gets kicked over, it stays with the kayak. And I can get it back. All right, am I ready to get in the kayak now? Uh, I think you're forgetting something. No. Yeah. What? Um, there's this thing that keeps you from dying. It goes around your, your chest. A no. Heart monitor. <laughs> no, you need it in the water. It's a life-saving it device. A climbing rope. I don't think so. Um, you, you put it around. You know, it's something called a life vest. Oh, a life vest. But I'm in. A, I'm in. I'm just in this little tiny lake, and I know how to swim really good. Two so year old, I don't need a life jacket. Two-year-olds can drown in bathtubs. I'm not a two-year-old. <laughs> you act like one. What? What? Do not. 
Yeah, you do. Go put on do a life not. vest. <laughs> Dad, it's like not wearing a seatbelt when you drive. I don't need no stinking life jacket because I know how to swim. And we're on Lake Pacifica. It's really small. Um, a life jacket is one of the most important life-saving devices, and you kind of need it if you're going boating anywhere. <sighs> All right. I'll wear a life jacket. Thanks. But only because you're making me. Yep. It's like there's you no make... way I'm going to need it. I'm just sitting in this boat, and we're not going anyplace. Well... Oh. And now, are you happy putting on this ugly blue life jacket? Yep. I'm even clipping it properly. Wow, good job. So I'm zipped up, I'm clipped, it's US Coast Guard approved, it's my size, and it's blue. Are you happy now? Uh, it's messing with glitter, but I guess we'll do. Okay, now can I go in the kayak and go, go kayaking? And I'm not getting wet today. I can't get wet because I'm wearing my uniform. <laughs> yep. That would be really bad because we have a troop meeting tonight. I don't want to go to a troop meeting in a wet uniform. Mm-hmm. So, going to go ahead and get in the kayak. Where do you want me to kayak to, by the way? <laughs> um, I think you should kayak- Whoa! <laughs> Are you okay? Hey! I wasn't supposed to get wet! This is your fault! This is your fault! And besides which, now the life jacket is wet! And my melt! Um, I think- Okay, maybe that wasn't the best way to get in a kayak. Yeah, probably. You think I should try this again. Um, yeah, I would say so. Okay, let me come over here and let me try this again. Fortunately, I had my swim towel, so, <coughs> and I qualified as a swimmer. <coughs> That's a good thing. Uh, sure. I don't want any comments from the peanut gallery. That's enough. <laughs> no. <it's not. laughs> Get him, girl. <laughs> Good girl. This is hard. This is really hard. <laughs> okay, maybe a better way to get in this kayak is to do it slowly and keep my weight balanced on the kayak. So if I come over here Wait. and have one leg on either side, then I can sit in the kayak like this. Oh. Um, I think you might be facing the wrong way. What do you mean I'm facing the wrong way? I'm facing the pointy end. Does no. the pointy end go first? Um, no, Dad. You need to face the bow. Which end is the bow? The bow is the pointy end. No. The other pointy end. There's two. There's two? How can you tell the difference? They're both pointy. Because one's pointier than the other. Oh. Okay. So the bow is the pointy end, but I have to face the other bow. Then if this isn't the bow, what's this called? That's called the stern. Oh. But you want me to face the other way? Yes. The other bow? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Well, that didn't work very well. <laughs> That's twice you've done that to me. Twice now. I'm not doing anything. And the kayak flipped over besides. I hope it doesn't sink because it flipped over. I don't think it will. All right. What do they say? Third time's the charm, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I said no comments from the peanut gallery. So I'm going to get the kayak paddle out of the way. I'm going to put it right here. And this is the bow, right? This is the proper bow? Yes. Okay, and that's the front of the boat, right? Yes. Okay, and which side of the boat am I supposed to go in on? I guess this the, is the right side, so I'll go on the right side. The right side is um actually called the starboard side, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The starboard side? Yeah. Okay, so if this is the starboard side, is that the moon side? Um, No, that's the port. The port. I don't see a port. There's no windows in this boat. The whole thing's a window. Dad, I didn't name it. Just get on. Uh, okay. I think I made it. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Now can I go paddling? Here we go. Um, Dad, uh, you might want to untie yourself. I'm, I'm not tied in. My, my thing is tied in. Um, I'm not going anyplace. This is a stupid kayak. <laughs> This kayak yeah. doesn't work properly. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to let you figure this one out. What? I'm just going to let you figure this one out. Just keep going. You got this. Come on, paddle harder. <laughs> Use that muscle. <laughs> um, check your painter. 
my painter. Yeah. That's that rope thing in the back, right? Yup. Oh, one painter right here. Good job. Excellent. I'm going to put it right in the back of the boat here, this kayak thing. Okay. And we're ready to go. So, one, two. You know what? This is moving a lot better this time. I this wonder really why. Cool. You know what we didn't talk about? How am I supposed to hold this? You're supposed to hold it evenly from the middle. On what? On this blue thing? Yes. What's the, the blue thing? The, the pole? What was that called? The shaft. Oh, the shaft. Right. And that's not working too well. Nope. I don't mean Try do holding mean? it so the blades are perpendicular to the water. Oh, like there this. you go, yo. Okay. Oh, that works better. Yes, math right. does help us in life. Okay. I'm off like a herd of thundering turtles. This boat just goes backwards. I, someone needs to teach it how to go forward if I want to go forward. You can't teach an inanimate object how to uh, do things, so it's probably your fault. My fault? Can't yeah. be my fault. I'm the scoutmaster. I know everything. I seriously doubt that. Well, I know more than the kayak does. Well, maybe not. Yes. But I know how to kayak. That's well, debatable. Maybe not. So what do you want me to do? All right, so try putting the blade in front of you and making a sweeping motion. Like this? Yeah. Now oh, look. That's cool. Now uh, use the other one. What's that? Use oh. both of them. You, well, I can't use both of them. It has to be other one. Go one, then the other. Okay. All right. So like this. And then like that? Yeah. Oh, that was better. Cool. That's cool. I don't feel very good. I have a feeling this boat's going to sink. It's not very much room from here to here, and I don't want to get wet again. Um, I don't think you're going to get wet. I don't know. There's not very much room here. There's not very much height on this. That's just because you're just measuring it from the, um, you're just measuring the freeboard, which is the water line to the top of the boat. You mean this part? Yeah. What's that called? The... Gunnel. Yes, good guess. God, I got something right. I get one point on this test. Uh, you get you get an A for effort. <laughs> okay, so I've got the gunnel going to the water line, and that was called what? The freeboard. And then what's it called from the water line to, what's the bottom part of the boat called? The keel. So what's it called from the water line to the keel? Oh, it's called the draft. Draft. This comment is for Scoutmasters only. I could use a good draft right now. Dad. Maybe a draft root beer. Dad. Would a draft root beer be okay? Dad. What? Scouting appropriate. Draft root beer. <laughs> we're going to a and W afterwards. I don't think those stores exist anymore and we're in a quarantine. Oh, bummer. I can't win at all today. All right, I think this lesson is over. Are we good for the day? Yeah, on some, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get out then. Uh, get over close to the edge here. Um, Dad? I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. I'm gonna leave. What? What? Ah, Dad, ah, Dad, ah, Dad, ah, Dad! 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 <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, that didn't work very well. I don't know who designed this thing, but it keeps flipping over. It must be a bad design. I said no comments from the peanut gallery. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see, can I get back into this again? Uh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. Mm. Can I just paddle like this? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> I'm getting it the wrong way. Yes, you are. You were supposed to tell me about that. You know, Dad, there comes a point. In every young scout's life, or should I say a scout master, where they just can't be helped. <laughs> and I think you've reached that point. Uh, somebody put this paddle in the wrong spot. Mm. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I want to put your legs 
Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. There you go. This is just like the Adventure Cruise at Disneyland, except I don't have to worry about the crocodiles looking for handouts. Ah! <laughs> Worry about the lions looking for handouts. <laughs> or are you a coyote? I can't tell the difference. Or a wolf. <coughs> Must be a wolf. <coughs> all right. So maybe getting out in the deep spot wasn't a good idea after all. Yeah. I'm going to go over where it's shallow, where I can actually stand up. Is that okay? Yeah, good idea. All right. I'll meet you over there. All right. Okay. Row, row, row your boat gently across the lake. Merrily dad, merrily. dad, what, what? no one wants to hear you sing. Oh, just take all the fun out of everything. Okay, I'm going to quit then for the day. I'm going to get right out here in shallow water. I'm going to back up so I can get kind of close to the word shallow. Maybe. There we go. This looks like my attempts at parallel parking. Yes, well, wait till you have as many years of experience as I do. And oh. then you too can look as good as I do on a kayak. Mm -hmm. You should be really excited at that proposition. So I'm going to put this underneath here so it doesn't go away. And then I'm going to keep myself counterbalanced here. And then I'm going to flip myself over and put my feet flat on the bottom. Ah, just like that. Ta-da! I think we're done with this much excellent kayak adventure that we have today. Much excellent. Much excellent. I think that Ferris Bueller has nothing on us. I think your next step needs to be good to go back to elementary school. Learn they teach forever. you how to kayak in elementary school? No, Dad. They taught us how to speak English. I speak it to good English, Ron. <laughs> I speak it to good English. At any rate, signing off, Scoutmaster Bazanic. We'll catch you next week's lesson. Bye.